I went to work for Edison when, in 1924, I was 24 years old and he was 77. I produced a suspense soid of lead in distilled water, which remained in suspension many months. Now that is important because when I was with Edison, the American Medical Society asked him if he could make a suspensoid. The Medical Society was using it as an injection for cancer. They injected a water solution of lead in the system, and that apparently blocked certain areas off from radiation uh, so that those areas wouldn't be deteriorated. And Edison uh, couldn't do it. And he didn't have any ideas about it, and he asked me if I could make Well, I hadn't done it in the high school, so I said, yes, I could. At that time, lead suspensoid was maintained in suspension about five weeks. The suspensoid that I made stayed in suspension about eight months. The interesting part here is that uh, although I did it, Edison claimed it uh, as his work. Edison had only three months education. He knew nothing about mathematics. He knew nothing about physics or chemistry. He had a large number of assistants, and they would come out with these ideas, and when he, he would be shrewd enough to see that they were valuable, and then he would immediately take a patent out under his name. He had 1,400 patents. None of them were his. They were all his assistants. 